Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David. Boy, are there a lot of card magic tricks out there. There must be thousands, right? Thousands of tricks that you can do with playing cards. You probably know some. But if you were gonna ask the question, what do you think are the top 10 card magic tricks that every card magician should know? That'd be a great viewer's question. Let's talk about it. All right, card tricks, card magic. That is a huge library of information. I have books on my shelf entirely devoted to card magic. There are magicians out there that don't do anything else. I mean, yeah, there's close-up guys and they do some card magic, right? There's even coin guys that do some card magic. There's stage guys that do card magic, but there are some card magicians that that's all they do. They just do card magic. And there's all kinds of skill levels. You got your mechanics who can do everything, you got your gamblers, you got your cheats, but then you got your guys that like to do like crazy impossible things with cards, like tear them apart and restore them. There's so much, there's so much. And once you get into this universe, you are exposed to so much. And it would be very easy and frustrating to look at the amount of work that's out there in print and video and ask yourself, where do I start? It's like walking into the most messiest house and saying, okay, clean this. And you're like, where do I start? Where do I begin? If only there were a top 10 list of the 10 most foundational card magic tricks that you could say, you know what? Out of all the tricks out there, every card magician should know these 10. What would they be? I scoured the internet, I did the research, I talked to the people, I took notes, and from what I can tell, okay, this is just my opinion, right? Just my opinion, but this is what I believe are the top 10 card tricks that every card magician should know. Number one is, of course, the ambitious card or the elevator card. This is the magic effect where a playing card seems to continue to return to the top of the deck after being placed elsewhere in the middle of the deck. The effect is often credited to French magician Gustave Alberti in the mid 19th century. The ambitious card is also known as the trick that fooled Houdini because Di Vernon supposedly fooled Houdini with his version of the ambitious card. Now, many magicians today base their routine off of Daryl Martinez's version as he had a very comprehensive VHS tape on the many possible variations of this effect. But of course, you can't throw a stick into the card magic pool and not hit someone's uh, ambitious card. There's a lot out there in print and video. The second trick I would say is the triumph. Now the triumph card trick is a trick where the cards are shuffled in a very surprising way, half face up and half face down. But with just a snap of the fingers, the magician makes all of the cards instantly face the right way again, except for the spectator's selected card. And although it's true that the most popular version of Triumph was first published by Vernon, the premise behind the effect probably came from Theodore Deland in 1914. Deland was a very prolific creator of gimmick cards and decks, and he had a version of the Triumph that he called Inverto. Card trick number three, Out of This World. Out of This World is where the magician shows a deck of playing cards, the cards are mixed, and then next the cards are given to a group of spectators or a single spectator, and the magician tells the spectator to split the deck into red cards and black cards without looking at it. The spectator goes through the cards, makes two piles, and when the piles are flipped over, everyone gasps because the spectator had done exactly what the magician asked him to do. Out of this world is a classic effect that was invented by Paul Curry back in 1942. And many magicians have performed their own variations of this trick. It's been billed as the trick that fooled Winston Churchill because amateur magician Harry Green apparently fooled him with it. Card magic trick number four, twisting the aces. In this trick, the magician begins by displaying the four aces. The rest of the deck is set aside. You don't even need it, it's a pack a trick. And after showing all four aces facing down with a simple spin in his hands, the magician reveals that one ace has turned face up. He repeats this process each time 
turning each ace over. Twisting the Aces is a card effect from Di Vernon, published in Di Vernon's More Inner Secrets of Card Magic, which was written by Lewis Ganson. Card magic trick number five, Dr. Daly's last trick. In this effect, the magician places the two black aces in the spectator's hands. The magician then asks the spectator where the ace of spades is, and the spectator points to a card in their hand, turns it over, but it's the ace of diamonds. The spectator turns over the other card, and it's the ace of hearts, and the magician reveals that he is holding the two black aces. You know, during the last months of Dr. Daly's life, he worked on this card trick, which he demonstrated for Di Vernon. Di Vernon included this trick in his book, The Di Vernon Book of Magic, from 1957. Card trick number six, the Red Hot Mama, or Chicago Opener. In this trick, there is a freely selected card that appears to change color. It goes from blue to red, and then it's put aside. And then a second card is selected, and the red back card is seen to have transformed into that second selection. This trick was invented by Al Leach and was originally called Hot Card Trick Number One and then later titled Red Hot Mama. Card Trick Number Seven, Gemini Twins. In this trick, two spectators are each given a card from the pack, and then each of them deals cards from the pack and stop wherever they want, and they mark that spot with the card that they were given but they leave it face up. When the deck is spread on the table, the two face-up cards are seen and then removed along with the face-down card that is next to theirs. And the two face-down cards that are next to theirs are revealed to be the mates, which means they have the same value and same color of the two face-up cards. Now, Gemini Twins is a all-time classic effect, especially for beginner magicians. And this is because it uses a very old, very easy principle in card magic that allows it to be self-working. And you can find this trick in more self-working card tricks by Carl Folves. Card trick number eight, three card Monty, or follow the lady. We probably all know this trick, right? We know this premise, three cards, two cards that are similar and one indifferent card. And the object is to follow the indifferent card. And no matter how hard the spectator tries, they're never able to. Probably the most popular one is Michael Skinner's Ultimate Monty. It's a great trick for you to purchase if you don't have it. I would also look at Steppin' Out with Molly by Jack Carpenter. Uh, Greg Wilson has a great one called Flat Out Monty. Bob Sheets has another one called Killer Kitson Miracle. Uh, if you're a newbie to magic and you've never done anything like this before, I would probably look at Color Monty. Otherwise, check out Routines by Darwin Ortiz and Daryl. Card trick number nine, the Torn and Restored card. Of course, this trick plays out exactly like it sounds. Any card is selected, or maybe forced, could be signed, some variations not signed, and it's torn in quarters or in a million pieces, and then somehow the magician is able to restore it. And of course, probably everyone's favorite, most popular version of Torn and Restored is Reformation by Guy Hollingworth. This is probably the penultimate of Torn and Restored cards. Otherwise, I would look at Torn by Daniel Garcia. Uh, Shoot Agawa has done some great things with this. Torched and Restored by Brent Braun is also another very popular one that people recommend. And then lastly, card trick number 10, the card to wallet or the card to impossible location effect. And of course, this trick sounds exactly like its title. A card is selected, it's lost, somewhere and then it ends up miraculously inside the magician's wallet or it ends up inside of a apple an orange a pumpkin on the other side of a window there's so many tricks that use this plot of a sign card appearing in an impossible place and really that's what makes it impossible is because the more impossible tricks obviously include the card being signed, right? Of course, there's other variations you can do of this that uses a duplicate, you know, that, that isn't signed. Uh, and, and certainly those could be great ones to start with. But I think for certain, uh, if there are 10 card tricks that everyone should know, that list is pretty definitive. If I were gonna make one more and say there could be a top 11, right? If I were just gonna add one more in and just maybe make it a, honorable mention, I would include Mr. E Takes a Stroll. This is from One Degree by John Gustafaro, and I would highly recommend you check that one out as well. All right, what did you think? What did you think of this top 10? And did I miss one? Were you looking forward to me mentioning a trick that I didn't mention? That's the great thing about the internet. 
That is the great thing about the internet is there is multiple voices here, multiple minds working together. And of course, anybody watching this video would love to hear your recommendation, especially if several of you mentioned the same trick. That only means it's another great card trick that we all should know, and we would love to hear what that is. So if you can make a nice, friendly comment below that adds that suggestion to this list, I think we'd all appreciate it. Hey, thanks for tuning in today. Thanks for watching this viewer question. Uh, I've got more out there. There's more viewer questions, and if you wanna see what they are, uh, just type in uh, magic question, right, in quotes. Type in magic question in quotes, and then put magic orthodoxy in quotes, and you'll get 10, 11 of these videos that we've been asking uh, since this channel has been on the air. And if you appreciate my videos and you like what I do, do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow. That helps me out a lot. I'm trying to hit 50,000 subscribers this year. That's my goal. That's my goal. And you guys can help me spread the word. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.